D5 employed. That's a different game. This is, a, this is the game between Gukash. Yes. Against Anish Giri. All right, I will. Well, maybe we can go where the camera is. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> have the time it. And well, let's have a look at this one. See, it's going because the players are playing very quickly. Aren't they? And uh, this is actually uh, what Rex Singfield lights. I don't know exactly what Jennifer Shahadi did to him, but she she said, play the Grand Prix attack. That was to bring your bishop to c4, play d2, d3. And Rex got that, uh, you know, hardwired into him. And now c2, c3. What is it about this uh, Grand Prix attack that is so very attractive? Um, is this Gukesh's game against Anish? Uh, C2, C3, I'm just looking at this position and I'm asking myself, is this theory? Uh, must be, no? Mm, yes. I mean, it's too early not to be a theory, just that I always thought Grand Prix attack was the one with F4. With F4? And Bishop C4, so that's a little bit different, right? Okay.
Fabi? Yeah, flawless. Yeah, was, flawless. Flawless. The perfect technique. Yeah. yeah. Flawless. Probably just perfect. Yeah. And, and, and the way he's handling his business in this ending, uh, very impressive. I mean, it just feels like Gugesh really never had a chance with his extra pawn. Quite get it of what's going on here. <laughs> no. Well, finally we've got the setup. We want pawn on g6, king on g7, bishop. I was going to say bishop patrolling the long diagonal. Nothing can really go wrong. Uh, probably I would have kept my bishop myself on the f6 square and just got king h6 and said, okay, what are you going to do? King h6, king g7, bishop f6. And it prevents both 95 and 95. And let me just refresh my board. Well, I must say that uh, today's broadcast, comparing with the Bucharest broadcast, has been a very, are you ready for it? Rapid <laughs> day of broadcasting. It's gone by very quickly today. Yeah, I mean, the games have been so entertaining. Truly. We've seen opposite side castling, we've seen excellent preparation, we've seen fantastic counterattacks. Right. And great saves. Great saves. Yeah. Bishop coming back to E7. Yeah. I mean, it's really had all the storylines. And so this is why I feel like the future of chess might, be, might be just a rapid. Yeah, it might just be more. And we saw the brilliancy, uh, a sparkling uh, tactical game by, played by LeVon. Uh, against Vidit. Unfortunately for Vidit, I mean, he's been victimized by some really great play. Ivan Saric just won against him. and uh, I think one of the problems with classical chess is just the preparation. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. The guys are just so good. They, they defend tenaciously and they hold these games. Um, Gugesh doing his best, but Tell you something, much. we are getting close to breaking our record though, What's because that? the longest game uh -oh. was 115 moves How played last that? year between Carolina and Nepo. That was a draw, and we are now on 111. So we can crack open the uh, champagne, guys. Uh, I think we're gonna. Yeah, I mean, in in uh, snooker, when they score a century, everybody cheers and cheers. <laughs> everybody groans. I mean. Very dubious distinction. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the breaking the record for the longest game. Yay, I think. Yeah, this is exactly the setup. It's desperate. Because one of the best moves in the position is to capture on G6. Oh, we have H5. Wait a second. Hang on a second. That's it. 115. 116, we've broken it though. Uh, <laughs> I want. I want <laughs> There was a power lifter in the Olympiads uh, from the Soviet Union who used to break his own world records by like a half a kilo at a time. <laughs> he had like 24.